knowledge from the indefinite ocean of professor p k khatri on the topic called contemporary issues in marketing and indo china trade relations so i gitika on behalf of r dias welcome professor p k khatri and i would like to call upon stage ms neeti tiwari to felicitate professor khatri thank you neeti so i would like to introduce professor pk khatri he is a senior faculty member of university of delhi and he has obtained his graduation degree from hansraj college university of delhi and he is masters he has masters degree in commerce from delhi school of economics university of delhi he is holding an excellent academic record in llb from faculty of law university of delhi he is also having an mba degree having specialization in marketing and law he is visiting faculty member with different b schools and universities he is a visiting professor at the indian law institute new delhi and he is a member of many professional bodies such as life member of institution of constitutional and parliamentary studies new delhi founder member of all india foundation of peace and disaster management and vice chairman delhi regional branch of indian institute of public administration new delhi he he also he also diversified his can of knowledge with books on different topics ranging from global financial crisis new challenges for corporate governance structural adjustment and socio economic development regional trade integration and south south corporations uh, so i would like to call upon stage professor khatri to start the lecture is it possible to this pp uh, ppt can be used सुबह रहने मार्केटिंग मार्केटिंग वाले इंटर में कौन सा निकाला लोकल में इंटर में क्यों मार्केटिंग टेस्ट मत करो वहीं रहने वहाँ से नहीं चलेगा चलो टेस्ट करो डिलीट कर दें बात 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 आ रहा है 
आएगा ठीक है कोई नहीं मैं कर लूँ उससे कर लेंगे ना नो प्रॉब्लम इसे हो जाएगा ना गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज टॉक विल बी कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी चैलेंज इन मार्केटिंग एंड स्ट्रेटेजिक मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज इट वॉज चेंज लेटर ऑन इट विल नॉट फोकस चाइना इंडो रिलेशन बिकॉज दैट वुड हैव बीन ए बोरिंग लेक्चर द लेक्चर शुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग वन so that there can be a two way process you can also interact i can also interact you are all as i was told you are all students of mba third semester and you must be having some idea about marketing you all know what is marketing what is selling we all know that there are four functions of business organizations production function marketing function finance function and and personnel function or that can also be called nowadays hr function human resource management function production function is very important marketing function is equally important if there is no production there can be nothing to be marketed if there is no marketing there nothing can be produced because whatever a businessman produce it is not produced for the sake of production only it is meant for sale you all you must all be knowing what is the difference between selling and marketing selling is only one part of marketing activity marketing is a very wider word wider term which includes a lot of things it includes the uh, four p's of marketing you all know product promotion pricing and place or you can also call it physical distribution i am just giving you the background so that i can connect it with the today's lecture this is this concept is called marketing mix you know marketing mix here we mix the product the pricing the promotion and the place in product we do the activities of product design product quality product features like labeling branding packaging warranties after sale services these are all we know we do this activity in the first phase of marketing that is called product in pricing we fix the price of the product there are many pricing policies and strategies which we follow while uh, deciding or determining the price of the product you must have read many pricing policies and strategies like for example skim the cream pricing policy penetrating pricing policy psychological pricing policy discriminating pricing policy there are many pricing policies that you know Uh, that depends upon uh, the facts and circumstances of the case which pricing policy should be followed by the firm in promotion we mix the four tools of promotion promoting the product in the market that is called advertising publicity sales promotion and personal selling in advertising it is a message which is given 
to the general public prospective buyers by an identified sponsor which is paid for in publicity which is not paid for in sales promotion we use the tools of discounts coupons exhibitions etc in personal selling we our personal sales person uh, sell the product either it can be a counter sales person or it can be a door to door sales person that will depend in place we determine about the logistics where the uh, goods are produced where is our factory where the products have to be stored how the products will be distributed to the middlemen or to the customers directly or through intermediaries like wholesalers or sole selling agents or retailers or mercantile agents like brokers auctioneers commission agent like that so logistic the problem of logistics is solved in the fourth p of marketing mix you got the idea of the marketing mix this you know this is you know a strategy the firm will follow a strategy to mix all the four p's of uh, marketing and then it goes to the uh, prospective customer or the buyer now since today we will discuss about contemporary challenges in marketing and strategic marketing management first of all i would like to know from you what is the difference between general planning and strategic planning can anybody answer what is the difference between general planning or strategic planning what is the word strategy strategic word the the word strategy is derived from the military science where strategy is used to conquer the enemy so here also in business we have enemies there are many forms you know in our country the day from which the lpg model of growth economic growth is followed you know lpg model what is the lpg model very good liberalization privatization and globalization model of the economic growth now we have to to understand the whole gamut of the situation we have to understand the scenario what was earlier and what is today what marketing challenges or what marketing issues the various firms are facing today to understand that thing we have to understand the scenario what was the scenario earlier and what is the scenario now two scenarios were there one is known as a pre globalization scenario second is known as the post globalization scenario in the pre globalization scenario different economic orders were there you must be knowing what is the meaning of economic order economic order means the system of production system of you know business organization in the pre globalization scenario the whole world was divided into two one is called communist block another is called capitalist block communist or socialist is one and the same thing and another is called the capitalist block so the whole world was divided into two halves two two parts one is the communist block which is led by russia and china another was the capitalist block which was led by america uk france etc what is the difference you also you have studied economics you all know there are certain central problems of an economy central certain central problems of every economy whether it is a communist economy whether it is a socialist economy or whether it is a capitalist economy or whether it is a mixed economy what you produce 
हाउ टू प्रोड्यूस एंड फॉर होम टू प्रोड्यूस दीज आर देंट्रल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एवरी इकोनॉमी वट यू प्रोड्यूस हाउ टू प्रोड्यूस फॉर होम टू प्रोड्यूस सो डिफरेंट इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर फॉर देयर कस्टमर वॉन्टेड यू डिमांड वॉज मोर देन द सप्लाई आई रिमेंबर वन थिंग यू यू विल नॉट रिमेंबर दैट थिंग you might not might not have faced that thing when i purchased my first scooter in my life that was about uh, 30 years back or 25 30 years back i got my de- the delivery of my scooter after 4 years i deposited 500 rupees with the company i booked the scooter and i waited for my turn to come to get my the delivery of my product so it means in that scenario the demand was more than the supply when the demand of the product is more than the supply of the product the role of marketing will be less will be negligible because you have already you have a queue of queue of the customers and now now what is the scenario if you you need not go to the show, shop owner shopkeeper you need not go to the showroom you need not uh, tell you telephone even their telephone will come to you would you like to buy a car if you say okay yes okay can i come to your place to deliver the keys of the car you say no 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 i don't have the money he says no no don't worry about the money money we will give car we will give financier will also come bank financial financial institution will also come with that person he will get some of your signature he will get some advance checks from you and some advance money and they will deliver the product or the car to you that is the scenario because now the supply of the goods is more than the demand of the goods where the supply of the goods is more than the demand of the goods it means the role of marketing will come now we have to create demand also we have to create customers also so these are the two scenarios few options monopolistic market aap logo ne padha hoga economics mein teen prakar ke market hote hain there are three types of markets perfect competition monopoly and imperfect competition imperfect competition you may say duopoly oligopoly huh duopoly two 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 suppliers oligopoly few suppliers monopoly one supplier perfect competition many suppliers so now we are facing where there is a monopoly the role of marketing is very less where there is a perfect competition in the market the role of marketing is very high so these are the producer manufacturer orientation earlier the marketing was manufacturer oriented today the marketing is customer oriented today the market is social marketing green marketing customer oriented marketing earlier there was a product product oriented definition of the marketing production oriented definition of the marketing you must have read societal oriented definition of the marketing and now green marketing because to to face the challenge of the pollution in the environment so these are the two scenarios the second post globalization scenario different e- new economic order now is there any communist country in the world yes who which is china china is considered today also to be the communist country but it is for your knowledge that china is no more a communist country now yeah communism is that the entire means of production they are owned by the state socialism means some means of production are owned by the state some means of production are owned by the private people and that is also you can call it mixed economy the orientation you know there are two two you know two uh, sides one is perfect competition another is one is uh, co- uh, one is communism another is perf- another is capitalism 
in between where you stand whether you stand in between that is a mixed economy purely mixed economy if you have a tilt if you have a tilt towards the communism you know uh, we can say com no country in the world is perfectly communist country no country in the world is perfectly capitalist country earlier also when different orders were followed the, it is you know because the government has the role and the private people also have the role china nowadays china has also started liberalizing because you cannot be isolated from the world order when most of the countries are following the lpg model how you can follow the mono, how you can follow the communist model so you have to liberalize your industry you have to liberalize your uh, business china has also started liberalizing and because china is a very big economy china is uh, you know uh, a very uh, uh, fast developing economy having a population which is number 1 in the world only we are we are we are its competitor so far as the population is concerned and we are sure i am sure in a few years we will surpass or we will bypass china so far as the population is concerned because we our country want to be one in population also so anyway why we are in demand in the world today china to unko ghusne nahi deta kisi ko apne apne andar apni country ke andar india india is a liberal country why we are in demand why every uh, big <coughs> shot of the world countries they are coming to india to visit again and again because of our population because they are seeing a large number of customers or buyers or business in our country america you know there is slow down there is unemployment so they also try to find out the new markets so whether it is communism or socialism or capitalism now today uh, every most of the countries they are running in the same direction that is the direction of lpg liberalization privatization and globalization is it clear if you have any point you can ask in post globalization new economic order is there you want you want customers supply is more than the demand more options are there aaj customer ke paas hi bahut sare options hain seller ke paas bahut sare options hain aapko pata nahi yaad hai ya nahi hai hame yaad hai keval do car milti thi there were only two types of cars available in the market one was ambassador and one was fiat aur wo bhi sirf do colors mein वन इज ब्लैक एंड वन इज वाइट बस दैट सॉल्व दैट वॉज द लिमिट ऑफ कंज्यूमर चॉइस कस्टमर चॉइस बट नाउ इफ यू लुक टू द ऑटोमोबाइल कार इंडस्ट्री पैसेंजर कार इंडस्ट्री देर आर हाउ मैनी मैन्युफैक्चरर्स मैनी मैन्युफैक्चरर्स एंड मैनी मॉडल्स कितने सारे मॉडल्स हैं आप एक मारुति को ही ले लीजिएगा मारुति की एक कार को पकड़ लीजिए उसके अंदर चार पांच आपको सीरीज मिल जाएंगी सो नवे डेज देर इज ए चॉइस विद द कस्टमर कलर मुझे ये कलर नहीं चाहिए मुझे तो वो कलर चाहिए तो नवे डेज द मार्केटिंग और द बिजनेसमैन हैज टू बी कंज्यूमर ओरिएंटेड और कस्टमर ओरिएंटेड what was the strategy in pre globalization product concept quality oriented high price less distribution production concept quantity oriented less price high distribution selling concept earlier the businessman or the sales person they follow the selling concept now which concept we follow in the market customer oriented concept we we follow social marketing we follow customer oriented marketing we follow green marketing the strategy in the post globalization marketing concept customer satisfaction and customer delight are the objectives customer gaining preeminent position social marketing concept inclusive growth 
ट्रिपल बॉटम लाइन ग्रीन कॉन्शियसनेस लीडिंग टू सी एस आर सी एस आर स्टैंड फॉर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वट लीड टू ऑल दिस द एल पी जी रिजाइम लिबरलाइजेशन ग्लोबलाइजेशन लेड टू प्राइवेटाइजेशन नाउ द गवर्नमेंट इज सेलिंग इट्स इंडस्ट्रीज लिबरलाइजेशन प्राइवेटाइजेशन ग्लोबलाइजेशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन कैन यू टेल मी एनी ऑफ यू वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन ग्लोबलाइजेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ अवर इकोनॉमी विद द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी दैट इज कॉल्ड ग्लोबलाइजेशन वॉट इज प्राइवेटाइजेशन प्राइवेटाइजेशन मीन्स वेन द इंडस्ट्री और द बिजनेस दे आर ओन्ड बाय द प्राइवेट पीपल नोट बाय द गवर्नमेंट लिबरलाइजेशन वेन द गवर्नमेंट रिड्यूसिज द कंट्रोल ओवर द इंडस्ट्री लाइसेंस कोटा परमिट राज अर्लियर प्री इन द प्री ग्लोबलाइजेशन पीरियड देर वॉज ए लाइसेंस कोटा परमिट राज आज धीरू भाई अंबानी वहां पर पहुंच गया क्यों पहुंच गया कैन यू डू यू नो जितने कोटे होते थे जितने परमिट होते थे जितने लाइसेंस होते थे एक पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट के वो उन्हीं को मिलते थे तो वेन यू गोट ए कोटा और ए परमिट एंड अदर्स विल नॉट गेट द कोटा और परमिट ओनली यू विल प्रोस्फर so far as the oil refineries are concerned so far as the oil industry is concerned you know they got all the quotas and licenses but now that license quota permit raj is done away with as after 1991 1991 ye jo process shuru hua liberalization ka 1991 ke baad hua aaj kon kon se sector government ke paas hain baki sare sector private sector mein hain सिर्फ दो या तीन सेक्टर गवर्नमेंट कंट्रोल करती है वन इज द रेलवेज एनोदर इज द डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन एटॉमिक एनर्जी एक दो सेक्टर डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन एटॉमिक एनर्जी रेलवेज बाकी सब अब प्राइवेटाइज गवर्नमेंट कह सबको प्राइवेटाइज करो आहिस्ता आहिस्ता रेलवे भी प्राइवेटाइज हो जाएगा रेलवे प्राइवेटाइज क्यों नहीं हो रहा है क्योंकि रेलवे प्रॉफिट गिविंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है अगर जिस दिन ये लॉस गिविंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो गया गवर्नमेंट के लिए उसी दिन गवर्नमेंट कहेगी इसको प्राइवेटाइज कर दो क्योंकि अभी तो जो ब्यूरोक्रेसी है जो पॉलिटिकल लीडरशिप है जो पॉलिटिशियंस हैं दे गेट गुड आउट ऑफ दैट कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन यू नो देर वॉज ए टाइम अगर आपको एक टेलीफोन का कनेक्शन लेना पड़ता था तो आपको पाँच छः महीने एक साल वेट करना पड़ता था आज टेलीफोन का कनेक्शन अभी आप अपने इंस्टीट्यूट से बाहर निकलोगे सामने शॉप वाला दे देगा और ज्यादा पैसे भी लेगा दस पंद्रह रुपए में आपको सिम कार्ड दे देगा पच्चीस रुपए में बीस रुपए में पोस्टपेड प्रीपेड प्रीपेड सिम है तो यू नो ये सब जो है नो डाउट एलपीजी मॉडल फॉलो करने से ग्रोथ बढ़ी है एलपीजी मॉडल फॉलो करने से लोगों को रोजगार के अवसर बढ़े हैं एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज है प्रोडक्शन हैज इंक्रीज जी एन पी एन एन पी अवर ग्रॉस नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एन एन पी इट हैज नेशनल इनकम इट हैज इंक्रीज एंड द सप्लाई ऑफ द गुड्स एंड सर्विस इंक्रीज सो वट लेट टू ऑल दिस द एल पी जी रिजाइम लिबरलाइजेशन एंड ग्लोबलाइजेशन लेट टू प्राइवेटाइजेशन इंक्रीज कॉम्पिटिशन एज एज एंट्री बैरियर इज नाउ देर इज नो एंट्री बैरियर ओनली कम यू हैव टू फेस द कॉम्पिटिशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेट अप यूर इंडस्ट्री यू यू आर वेलकम टू सेट अप यूर इंडस्ट्री There is no need to take any license or quota from the government or the permission. Only certain formalities are there. For example, pollution control or you know like that. The grammar of business changed from sales oriented to marketing oriented. पहले business sales oriented होता था. Businessman जो है वो sale में interested था. Sale होनी 